Red Bull Crash Dice 2012, a season that set new standards. We saw this year that uh, the sport improved and the quality of the riders, the athletes as well, improved a lot. Four races across the globe, more than 200,000 spectators. It all began in St. Paul in the USA. 80,000 fans, a hell of an ice cross downhill track and some serious action on the ice made it a superb kickoff into the season. In the first final, it all came down to two Finns versus two Canadians. Another great start from Scott Croxall. R2 P line and takes the early lead, though. R2 makes Ooh, the small mistake. Small mistake. Oh, and both of them go down. How Croxall gets back up. He's faster back on his feet. All I wanted to do is get out as fast as I could, and it worked out well. For the second stop, the elite of ice cross downhill travelled to Falkenberg in the Netherlands. The battle for the World Championship continued on the longest and fastest track of the season. On the course again, it's Scotty Croxall in first place. Fabian Mel squeaks Ooh. past though and he moves into first Scotty place. Made a Could this be the huge upset of this event with Fabian Mel's out in front? Kyle Croxall in second. Mel goes down. Kyle Croxall still out in front. Fabian Mels, wow! It's going to be Kyle Kruxel, Fabian Mels on the podium, and once again, Pavel Glintrup. I don't know, I guess I just want it more. I mean, there's lots of good riders out here. Everyone's improving, which is uh, getting really difficult, so I just want it, and uh, I've been training all year for it. In 2012, Ice Cross Downhill returned to its roots. 11 years after the first ever race in Stockholm, the small town of Aura in Sweden hosted the third competition of the year. Good start for R2, as usual, gets out in front. Scotty Croxall right there with him. Oh, and R2 toe picks and goes down. Adam. And here comes Adam, Adam Horst. Horst. Oh, it's unbelievable. It's uh, something I've hoped for over the last few years, but it's weird that it's here. The big final of the 2012 World Championship was held in Quebec in Canada. More than 100,000 fans gathered around the track to witness the last battle of the season. Kyle Croxall is dead last at the moment, like you said. Scott Croxall in second place right now. Oh, Kyle, is oh, Kyle oh, Croxall God, is way is back there. Scotty Croxall in second. Scotty's going to try and catch up to RTP line, and it's not going to happen by the looks of it. Ooh, oh, there Scotty it is. goes down. There it is. Kyle is the champion. Oh, RTP line and wins the race here. But Kyle Croxall comes across the finish line in second place to win the world championship title that he's sought for three years. I'm amazed. I mean, uh, I finished off the, the year with uh, two wins uh, and a second place and a fall in Sweden, but uh, equaled out to a win overall. So I'm, I'm as pumped as can be after the two last year's uh, second place in a row both times. So this is amazing. 